Hello again, my friend. I uh, have been playing around with the question that you had for me about being able to uh, bring in nodes or scenes or what have you from other projects, from, you know, from one project into another. And um, yeah, it actually works pretty well, uh, but there is uh, one little hitch that you have to be aware of. So, um, all right, I'm going to go over here to, um, well, I'll just open this folder, but I'm also going to go over there in, in Godot. Um, I have uh, this one project of mine that I call Player Refined because I'm just working on the mechanics of a player for a game idea that I have. Um, you know, and it's a pretty basic... Um, Do I have music for this one? I don't know. It's a pretty basic um, thing. I just have, you know, um, a start menu and uh, and then, you know, basic character and parallel parallax background and some tiles and some things you can pick up to give your character weapons and abilities and just some basic enemies. They can't hurt you right now. So pretty simple, basic thing I have going on here. Now this has its own, um, you know, gravity and physics and everything set up, which um, may be different from the physics of um, other, you know, of another project. Like if you're importing something from a different project, you know, maybe you have higher gravity or less gravity or what have you. Um, but it will, um, so you know, you'll have to change it. You have to make sure that, you, like, you know, your 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 movement speeds, your jump speeds, and stuff kind of match. So you know, it might might not work perfectly if you didn't have the same setup in the other project, which you'll see here when I when I show you what I've done. Um, this is hard to play with out of controller. <laughs> I mean, I'm just using keyboard controls right now. I have that little jump kick ability, but there it is. Yes. All right. So anyway, you get the idea of this basic little game I'm working on here. So now uh, I'm just going to go over to uh, where am I? Quit the project list. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm not going to worry about saving any of that stuff. Okay. So. Here's a project that I was doing um, where I was working on creating a follow behavior for the AI of an enemy. And it, um, it seems to work pretty well. <clears throat> so I'm this little guy here, and here's, uh, <laughs> here's the, the enemy. <laughs> and he has a little animation when he catches up to you. So, nothing special here with this. I have a little attack <laughs> to knock him back. Alright. And yeah, he'll follow and he'll jump. Oops. Oops. And yeah, as you see, you see he'll even jump across gaps and everything. So that, that's pretty cool to get that using uh, Raycast 2D and, and some other things. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy and we're going to put him in the other game. <clears throat> so let's go to my folder here. And uh, this guy, he's just simply called Enemy. So here's the enemy scene. Here's the enemy's script. And here's the PNG that I used for his animation. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight... Oops. Highlight all three of those. Control C to copy. Now I'm going to go to the folder for my other project, and I'll just dump it into assets. Or I'm sorry, into the uh, actors folder right now. Um, paste. Yeah. All right. So there we have my new files for that project. Now let's head on over to that project. And let's see what we can see. 
that one is called Player Refined. Because I, I have different projects for different phases of my learning as I was trying to work on mechanics and movement and skins for the player and all that other stuff. Attacks and um, projectiles. Things of that nature. Alright, so here we are, back again to here. Um, now, if I go to actors, you see, yep, there, there it is, enemy, the um, script, the scene file itself, and his, his asset. Um, so you'd think, oh, okay, well, all should be well then. We should be able to just drag and drop this guy right into uh, my world scene. But um, if I do, you'll see that it doesn't quite work. It'll, it'll give us some errors. I'll drop him over here somewhere. It'll give us some errors if I try to run this. Yeah, see, it didn't run it. And see a bunch of errors over here. Um, Go down to the red ones. Resource file not found. Trollface.png. That's the uh, artwork for the enemy guy. Uh, they couldn't. There's a parse error. I'm not, you know, I, I don't know what all the terms mean necessarily, but it's a non existent resource according to the game engine here. So let's just go ahead and get rid of him for a second. I mean, I could probably keep him there, but I'm just getting rid of it just, just to be safe. In case of any bugs or glitches. Let's see. Um, so if I try to open the enemy scene to edit it, we get this box coming up right here. Load failed due to missing dependencies. So, like, it's not yet making the connections of the enemy to his script, um, the sprite's uh, texture to the PNG file that I have. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to Fix Dependencies. You see here we have, we're, we're not connecting, so all we got to do is hit this folder right here, and I'm going to navigate to where I know I saved it, which is in my Actors folder. And I'll double click that. Same thing for the enemy, the, uh, I'm sorry, the enemy script. So I'm going to go here, and it's already there in that same folder, enemy.gd. So I hit that, I'll hit OK. Now I can hit Open anywhere. And there he is. There's my guy. There's his own scene. Um, so now if I come back over here, and we go ahead and add him into the world again. Click that so I can move him. <laughs> he looks really huge. He's ginormous. But uh, let's try it anyway. Let's put him in there just for, for giggles. Just for fun. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at him go. He's ginormous. And his jumps are really huge too. <laughs> look at that giant jump he made. <laughs> he can't really fit, he's trying so hard. Alright, um, let's see. just going to delete him. Probably didn't have to delete him, but I just do it anyway. Just because I don't know if, if I make a change to him here, if that instance of him will also be changed. Um, I guess I could experiment and see if that's the case. Let's go ahead and decrease his size. We'll make him a quarter of the size that he is right now. By going to transform here, and going to scale, and uh, changing that number right there. Um, so he's a lot smaller now. Go back over. Oh wait, help if I saved the scene. Okay, and then we'll come back over here. Play this again. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to add him. Here we go, we'll add him back in. Just move him over here. Perfect. Alright, so let's see how this does. Oop. 
there he is. Oh my. <laughs> that jump is ridiculous. <laughs> He's following me. He's just jumping really, really high. So, as you can see, it works. Uh, we can bring a scene in from another project. Um, you just have to worry about dependencies and then, um, you know, whatever uh, issues you might have with, um, you know, if you had different physics set up in, in another project, uh, as you can see, you know, I might need to change this. Maybe I'll go over to player here, and I'll take a look at, at some of the variables for speed and everything. So his speed's about... His his maximum speed is about 64. Uh, let's see, what about gravity, though? Acceleration, friction, gra oh, gravity is like 200. Do I have a, I might have done this one a little, oh, yeah. <laughs> gravity is really different here. So let's go 200. Wait. Yeah, I, I, I think I did totally different um, physics. For um, for the enemy than I did than I did for the player, so I may have to uh, really really play with this. Actually, what happened? Let's see if I keep my gravity and everything the same, but maybe I just change my. Um, yeah, let's make this like way smaller. Let's make it a hundred. Let's see if that. Uh, Makes anything better. All right, give this a go. There he is. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> what the heck? Okay, so maybe a hundred's not a good a good number for him. Let's make it. Uh, let's try four hundred. That was half of what it was before. Let's see if that's any better. I mean, this is all arbitrary. This is just you know within the confines of the different variables. Oops, the different variables that I set up. So um, that probably all of this probably doesn't really matter to you. The main thing is just. Can we get it to work? Oh, wow, he's moving fast. <laughs> All right, so it works. <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe a little bit glitchy. I have to change a lot of things like the gravity, make it uh, work within the confines of what gravity is. See, like how fast he moves up and down because the gravity numbers are totally different. His uh, X and Y speed is really different too. So, so that changes a lot of stuff. But you just follow. <laughs> That's good at least. <laughs> Alrighty. Anyway, enough of that. So hopefully this was helpful to you, and um, if you have any other questions, let me know. Blessings to you, my friend.